Hey friends, today we're hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I wanted to come out and ride some rides and check the wait times during this busy holiday season and also try some more of the holiday snacks that we haven't gotten the chance to actually try yet and do a little giveaway that I'm excited to actually share with you guys and just enjoy an evening at Hollywood Studios. Anywho's, let's go do this. Today is December 9th and like I said, we're getting closer and closer to Christmas Day and I just love it. I'm going to be sad when Christmas is over though. I feel like December is going by so quick. First thing I want to do is check the wait times and assess the situation of the day. It is 4 o'clock and if I bought the Genie Plus right now, I wouldn't be able to actually use the Lightning Lane on any of the rides here. Except for Star Tours and Muppet Vision 3D, so it would be a waste of $15. So we're just going to have to see what are the lines like and which ones we're going to be able to do today. As you can see, Rise of the Resistance is 140 minutes, Smugglers Run 60 minutes, mask on at all indoor locations. I feel like every time I start to show the wait times, that comes up. And, uh, oh yeah, Alien Swirling Saucers, 30 minutes, Slinky Dog Dash, 75, Toy Story Mania, 50, and uh, Tower of Terror is only 40 minutes, which is actually really awesome. Mickey and Minnie's is 50, so I think we're going to head down to the Tower of Terror. 40 minutes for the Tower of Terror is really a good standby and I wouldn't mind waiting to actually ride the ride for 40 minutes. All the other individual lightning lanes like for Rise of the Resistance and Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, they're already sold out and the same thing with the Genie Plus lightning lanes. Like I said, the only things that are available are Muppet Vision 3D and Star Tours. So 40 minutes, Tower of Terror, here we come. <laughs> One of the things I've realized recently is it's starting to look a lot more busy than it actually is. Like when you look at the wait times, I guess that's a good way to determine how busy it is. Uh, but when you see all these people out and about like on Main Street USA or on Sunset here, it kind of like makes you feel like, wow, it's super crowded today. But if the wait times are low, I guess that's all that matters. In the beginning of the video, you probably heard me mention a giveaway, and that's what we're going to do a little bit later on. We're actually going to be giving away some Roosevelt shirts, which are my favorite shirts I actually wear whenever I come to the parks. Today, I'm wearing a holiday Star Wars one, and it's really cool because it has gingerbread Darth Vader's and gingerbread Mandalorians, and it's really awesome, and candy canes. It's a long sleeve, too, because I've never wear long sleeve shirts, and I kind of just feel fancy and festive today, and we're going to be giving away some some Star Wars shirts a little bit later on because some of the queue for the Tower of Terror is outdoors we can grab ourselves a drink so that we have something to drink while we wait in line and right over here at the Sunshine Day Bar they actually have a special holidays drink here and I'm excited to try it because it looks really pretty Right here is the Christmas drink and it's Christmas on the beach. But the main reason I want to get it is because it has a little Mickey sipper as an ice cube. And I just love them and I want to collect all of them. Take a look at this precious beauty right here. Christmas on the beach and look at that Mickey ice cube. It lights up just like the sipper does and I love it. $15 for this. $15 but I do like how it kind of looks so festive. It does look like a perfect Christmas drink and when you add the Parrot Bay in it, it is. It's like Christmas on the beach and I can't wait to try it. Now it's time for the official taste test. Refreshing. Wow, really does capture like a mixture of Christmas and uh, the beach and the same thing. Mainly just by the looks for the Christmas. I don't taste Christmas, but I do taste beach. Now we got our drink in hand and we can proceed to the Tower of Terror. Hopefully the wait time is still out 40 minutes. Uh, it took us a little bit to actually get our drink because it's a very busy area right there. I also just realized my drink matches my shirt a little bit. The colors kind of match up together. Looks like the line is starting out here. It still says 45 minutes, but it's moving pretty quick. Now that I think about it, sitting in the Tower of Terror queue is probably the best place to actually have a drink. And also, I gotta show you something really cool that I didn't notice before. Hmm. Hold on. It jingles. So it's actually a Jingle Bell Sipper. Jingle Bell Sipper Ice Cube. Time to move on in. What do you think there? Look at that horse head bust up there. 
I always kind of point out some of the cool, unique things in the Tower of Terror, and I just love it so much. Hey, Pierce. I've been for the show business of Leader. Now, something is about to happen that will change all that. We ended up getting the front row, which is my favorite because you're so close to all the projection. We're gonna have front row seating right here. See those blinky lights? That lets you know if everyone has their seat belts on. so much fun and don't forget remember your number <laughs> as we got off the Tower of Terror look who's greeting us guess who dropped in it's goof look at that <laughs> that is the best thing whenever you get off the Tower of Terror to see goofy up there sometimes you get to catch goofy and Max but look at him he's just living his best Tower of Terror life right there that was a great way to start off the evening there. I love the Tower of Terror. And recently, actually today, I was able to sign up for my next Run Disney Run. And it's gonna be the Tower of Terror 10 miler. I am so excited. Today was the springtime surprise registration day. And I got there exactly at like uh, 1.50. It was started at two. And I got in a virtual queue for 45 minutes. I wanted to do the 5K and the 10 miler, but the Expedition Everest 5K sold out in minutes. So I got the Tower of Terror one and that's the one I really wanted because I can't wait to see the metal. I think it's going to be so fun. Now I think we're going to move along and find another holiday treat or holiday drink and make our way over to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge so I can tell you about the giveaway and also see if we can ride some rides over there. Rise of the Resistance is probably out of the question because it was a 140 minute wait and I feel like if we did that it'd probably be the last thing we did here today. I think since we've already had one holiday drink tonight, maybe we should have another holiday drink and just try all of the holiday drinks. Well, I don't know about all of them, but we'll try a couple of them because I think they're so festive and Hollywood Studios is like my favorite park to actually drink at. Everything's really close knit and it's so beautiful here. So we're actually gonna go to the Hollywood Brown Derby right here, well the outside, and they have a Christmas drink on their menu as well. Right here is the Holiday Bliss. And take a look at that. This looks so good and actually has vanilla ice cream mix in it and some apple sour pup guard. Oh, I don't know about that apple sour. I mean, think about it. Apple and ice cream? Oh, maybe it's going to be like a warm apple pie with ice cream. Oh, wow. I'm actually now super excited about this. I just hope it's not too sour. And here it is. Of course, I had to add my Jingle Bell Mickey Ice Cube to my drink because I feel like it just belongs in every drink now on, and I like it. It's a little bit different than the picture because they did have like a peppermint uh, rim on it, but they were out of peppermints, and it also was supposed to come with, I think, raspberries, and they were out of raspberries, so they gave me cherries instead, and that's kind of awesome because I like cherries better than raspberries, so I'm excited to try it. It looks good too. No ice, no nothing, just all liquor actually it's all liquor and ice cream mix so here we go we're gonna have to give it the try oh boy that's actually delicious i like this a lot holy moly that is so so good and it doesn't taste sour at all i, I don't taste a lot of sour and it does remind me of just like a little bit of a apple pie with ice cream on it. And I like it. And it gives a little burn on the throat. So it's very, uh, it's, it's one of those drinks that can catch up on you or sneak up on you as they say. But I like it. I like this one a little bit better than the other one. It's kind of funny because this drink isn't as sweet as the other drink. And it has ice cream mix in it. But I really, this one I like the best so far. Now we got to be moving along here. But take a look at how beautiful it is outside right now. Such a nice sunset, right? It's gonna be beautiful and the lights are starting to turn on. I love Hollywood Studios. Since we're up in this area here, I think we should swing over and see what the wait time for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is. Looks like it's saying 50 minutes. 
And honestly, I don't think it's 50 minutes because I've waited in like queues that were like all the way over there. And this queue actually starts like kind of right there. So that's not too bad at all. As I continue to drink away on the holiday bliss there, it actually packs a little punch. I gotta tell you, it's not a lot. Like it's not like a big drink, but it does pack a little punch. Before we finish it up though, I wanna fish out my Mickey Q because I don't wanna throw it away after I finish it. I've done that before. I've thrown away some nice glow cubes without even realizing they're in my drink. So there we go. Now we can save it for our next drink. Eventually, I do want to make my way down to Toy Story Land so we can try the Holiday Pop-Tart. It's like an apple Pop-Tart, and it would actually go well with that drink. I should have saved a little bit and, you know, kind of drink it together. Uh, but first, I do want to walk through Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. This is a good sign for the extended queue or the standby queue for Rise of the Resistance. Normally, it's back here, but uh, maybe it's not a, as bad as I would have thought. Maybe it's not a 140 minute wait. I mean, if it's like in the hour range, maybe I would actually wait for it. Let me know in the comments what's the highest wait you would actually stand in a standby line to ride Rise of the Resistance. I would probably wait an hour. So like if the wait time said 60 minutes, I would get in line for that. But I don't know about more than an hour. I mean, uh, that's just me being a local because I can come back the next day. But on vacation, like, you know what I mean? Would you wait 140 minute line or 160 minute line? Or would you pay the $12 to actually go in the lightning lane? Right now, the standby line is 95 minutes. 95 minutes that's a little bit too high for me though <laughs> well now it's getting to the time where it's a little bit dark outside and all of star wars galaxy's edge is looking pretty so i kind of want to take a photo somewhere I'm looking for some photo pass photographers i think there's some over here it's very busy over here oh yeah i see one over there nobody's even there yet After looking at the wait times, I checked Smuggler's Run, and that was actually at 60 minutes as well. I think we're just bouncing right on over here to Toy Story Land. The main reason why I wanted to come over to Toy Story Land is to ride Alien Swirling Saucers. They actually have a holiday overlay where they play Christmas music, and it's all like Christmas lights in there. And I haven't done it this year, and I think it's every three rounds that they do it, so you don't actually get it every single time. And it says standby is only 25 minutes, so we're gonna go for it. I really love when things start lighting up over here in Toy Story Land. Look at the uh, Buzz Lightyear blaster right here. Kind of looks like an Xbox symbol, but it's actually just a screw there. That's still really awesome. And I can't wait to hear some of the Toy Story Christmas music. It is really, really awesome. It's one of my favorite ride overlays. It's kind of just by chance if you get it. So we're gonna have to keep track because I think it's every three. So if we can hear it now, then we know that it's gonna be three from there. Uh, or you can always just ask and they'll be able to help you. After we get off Alien Swirling Saucer though, we're definitely gonna go get that Apple Pop-Tart over at Woody's Lunchbox and maybe try to ride Slinky Dog Dash. I love riding it at night and look, I can see it all lit up. The track is so beautiful and I'm wondering if we're gonna catch Slinky actually come by right now. There's just like big section of the track right here that's missing lights though. Look at it. <laughs> Looks like it just started now. So that means we have to wait three turns. So we're gonna have to stand to the side. But here it is, you hear it? Look at all the pretty Christmas lights. It's worth the wait though. It really is. Oh look, and Slicky's taking off. Wow! <laughs> okay, so the Christmas one just ended. So now this one will go on and then another normal one and then Christmas. So it's on the third, not three, skip. So you do normal, normal Christmas. Normal, normal Christmas. So we're gonna wait out one more after this and then it should be the Christmas one again. All right, now it's time to grab a rocket. I think we're gonna grab this guy right here. I hope we timed it right. We'll find out though in a little bit. Here we go. Moment of truth, let's see if it happens. I don't know. The anticipation's killing me. Please remain fully seated and no lap seated. Thank you. Ooh. There it is! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> okay, 
Now we're hitting it hard. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get tossed around a little bit here. Here we go, I'm gonna catch on to that one right there. It's gonna take us. And now, oh boy. <laughs> oh, oh, one last swing, there it is. It really does fly from one side to the other. Watch, here we go. Oh, it's slowing down, slowing down here. Nice. <laughs> oh, I love the holiday version of that. Seriously, it's worth actually waiting if you can. Uh, I did miss up like the first one because I was trying to keep count and I kind of messed up. So we had to wait uh, five turns, five turns to get it, but we got it. Now it's time we actually head right here to Woody's Lunchbox and get ourselves the Holiday Pop-Tart, the uh, apple pie one. I'm so excited to try this. I've only had like two or three of the uh, seasonal like pump tarts here and uh, this one's probably gonna be my favorite. I do like apple pie, as long as it's not sour, you know? Here it is. Now, I feel like it's already gonna break. It is soft, but I can't wait to try it so we're gonna actually break it in half even though I don't have to because it already did but look at that kind of reminds me of a tasty cake apple pie like that's that's what it looks like and I, I wonder if it tastes like it but we're gonna find out here mm. <laughs> it tastes exactly like I thought it would a uh, tasty cake apple pie but without the apple like pie filling there's not much apple pie filling in there so uh, that's the only thing that they can probably improve on other than that it's okay a little dry but it is a festive holiday treat the best thing about it though it's under five dollars and it comes in this little bag so like I'm not gonna eat all of it but I have a half of one that I can actually save for later and it's, it's good like I said for under five dollars I do like it you know now that we've taken care of the festive holiday pop-tart I think we should swing back around to uh, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. I feel like I haven't rode that ride in a while and maybe the wait time went down a little bit. Unfortunately, coulda, woulda, shoulda, but now it's a definitely longer, longer line. It actually starts a little bit back here where before we were just going in right there. But I guess uh, you win some, you lose some. But can we talk about the moon being directly in the center of the Chinese theater right now? That's beautiful. It's going by pretty quick in here, but I have to say they started playing some weird music in here I never heard before. I've never heard this music before. I think this is going to be the end of the night for us because it's actually been around 40 minutes, so the park's going to be closing at 9 o'clock, I believe. Want to take a ride on the train? Excuse me, you later. Do you mind helping these good people into the cartoon while I fix this here Loki motive? Loki motive? Thanks! Be back in a jiffy to pick you all up! That's awesome! That really might be one of my all time favorite Disney pre shows. I love it. I absolutely love it.
was a nice ride on Runaway Railway. I absolutely love riding that ride because you can always find hidden Mickeys that you've never seen before. I'm still actually finding new hidden Mickeys every single time I ride it and it's very interesting and also it was my first time seeing the Potato Land poster that's in the far back corner. I've never seen that because I'm always fixated on the great moving ride and all the other things that are happening so whenever you ride the ride try to look back and look around and try to like observe and see if you can find any interesting things. Now I think we're going to start making our way out slowly to the front of the park exit. And I guess with that, we're going to call it a night. If you guys stuck around for the video, I'm going to let you guys know how you can enter the giveaway to actually win a Roosevelt shirt. I'm going to be giving away three Star Wars Roosevelt shirts. I'm very excited. And uh, this is going to be through Instagram. So you have to go to Instagram and you have to find my uh, Instagram page, Paging Mr. Morrow. And I'm going to post a photo tomorrow wearing this shirt. And all you have to do is follow me, follow Roosevelt, who actually makes the shirts, and comment on the picture. And I'm going to pick a random person. Person. Well, I'm gonna pick three random people from the comment section and we're gonna DM you and send you a Roosevelt shirt a Star Wars Roosevelt shirt And I'm so excited. I think it's gonna be a fun little giveaway and I'm also gonna be doing this again on my next video uh, But it's gonna be different this next time I'm gonna always constantly try to mix it up so that uh, it's always like a fun little giveaway And I just like doing stuff like this. I like giving away stuff uh, And Roosevelt's actually sent me a couple shirts and I was just like yeah I'd love to give them away because they are very nice shirts. You know, I wear them all the time. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, and don't forget, go follow me on Instagram, Paging Mr. Morrow. Comment on the photo wearing this shirt. That's the one. Anywho's, bye.